there's been a lot of, a lot of um, people, stroke survivors that I've met that have really, um, really touched me. And I, I guess going right back to like about three or four weeks after my stroke, and I used to walk around the Brisbane River, which is beautiful, and you know, sort of winter's um, or autumn day in, in Brisbane. It's just absolutely beautiful, and I walk around there and over to South Bank. And I, this one particular morning, I met a, a friend of mine who works over in the West End near South Bank for coffee at around 10 o'clock in the morning near the um, Modern Art Museum. And we're just having coffee there, and then all of a sudden, this, um, this guy in, um, on a sort of a modified bike, a tricycle, you know, but a big tricycle, arrived with somebody else. And then he came over and he said hello, and it was almost like he was, um, say, worse than being drunk. It was, it, his speech wasn't great, and he put out his right hand, and it was very, not, it wasn't in good shape, and it was very weak. But I, sh I shook his hand, and he said, oh, Michael, you know, great to see you in such good shape, and, you know, and I'm a stroke survivor as well. And I said, well, sit down and have a coffee. So he told me his story, and he was from Adelaide. And he had a stroke similar to me, his, his back artery had split while he was driving a car. So the car crashes, he was very badly injured. Uh, he was also a medical student in his last year, and so he couldn't finish that because he was going to be a surgeon, so his, he couldn't use his hands anymore. He um, had a fiancée, and she left and split up, and he ended up being in Brisbane, um, still recovering from this stroke. And this was his twice weekly sort of uh, day out and he had his guy with him who was helping him and stuff like that and uh, anyway he it was amazing that we came across each other then he we had a chat for a while for about a half an hour and you know wished him luck and on his way and he said well you know, good luck to you and I said to my friend at that time I said oh, you know I'm so you know um, I don't know a bit angry because why why am I okay and why is he not you know it's not fair and um, my friend is a, a fairly knock-around sort of guy. He said, mate, what have you got to do? If you've got to take advantage of that and you've got to be an example to those sort of people and, and make a difference and try and help and try and give people hope. And so from that moment on, that's what I've tried to do, to the point where I've been involved with the um, uh, Stroke Association over in, over in London. That's where I live in the UK. And we've, I ran the marathon about oh God, how many, a few months ago. Running it's a pretty loose term, <laughs> but I finished it, put it that way. Finished it the same day I started, that was the goal. Um, but we raised a lot of money and we came up with a particular project rather than just giving money to the organisation and it just dissipates all the way through it. What we did, we came up this back to work program because when you, um, when you have a stroke and you leave hospital, um, everybody thinks that's the end of it. You cure it, off you go. It's just the start. It's just the start. And there's a lot of people out there that need a lot of help, um, not just around home and family and all that sort of thing, but also having some sort of self-worth where you, it's a reason to get up in the morning. And often I've been very lucky because I can go back and do what I did previously, but there are people that can't do that. And they need help to ingrain themselves back or into society and give them the self-worth that they're actually providing something for their families, for themselves, and they're actually doing something. So what we've set up is um, this back to work project where we've, in, we've raised enough money to employ three, three people for the next three years to set up this program. And I, th I think it's, and it's ongoing. That's sort of thing I've been doing and also meeting a lot of these stroke people. I mean, I could sit here for an hour and tell you about um, the people and the heroic people that I've met, I mean, um, you know, severely affected by stroke, get, they get on with stuff and boy, they're an inspiration to me.